In today's video, we're trying out a comment request to see what happens if we boil a jar of mayonnaise. Guys on the King of Random subreddit, user Shotgunner asked to see what would happen if we boiled a jar of mayonnaise. And my immediate thought was, huh, <laughs> what would happen if we boiled a jar of mayonnaise? And I had no idea and I thought, you know, maybe you guys didn't either. So today, we're gonna try and boil a jar of mayonnaise. While we're at it, we're gonna try a couple other things with mayonnaise and see what happens. Here's the basic idea. We've got a couple experiments we're going to try with standard mayo. We're going to see what happens if we boil some, we're going to see what happens if we put it in a vacuum chamber, and we're going to try to carbonate it. Can we have fizzy mayo? So we're going to approach boiling a jar of mayonnaise in two ways. One, we're going to empty out this entire jar of mayonnaise into this pot, and then we're going to heat it up. Two, to be a little bit more literal, we're going to remove this lid, but then we're <laughs> going to take the whole jar and we're going to put it in a pot of boiling water. So we're actually boiling a jar of You, you wanted of the mayonnaise. jar of mayonnaise boiled. And to be clear, the reason that we're, we're kind of popping the lid off here is because Nate had a good point. Neither of us are willing to deal with a mayonnaise explosion in the kitchen. <laughs> That's not food! <laughs> Mm. Oh, it really is separating. I honestly think I just got like a whiff of the vinegar. You did. Also, stir it a little more. I also have that little max too. I just turned all of the stoves on and then left them. I'm just gonna take this jar, set it in our pot of boiling water. Let's see what happens to that. <laughs> it's expanding oh, up out no. of the container. A nice continuous stream of mayonnaise. Congratulations, you did something that should have never been done. Agreed. I think I've now got this full enough. We can attach it and try to carbonate our mayonnaise. Ready? <laughs> no! I did actually, in fact, separate out the fat solids from the oils. You're welcome, internet. Here you go, here's some boiled mayonnaise. I'm about to hate everything I'm gonna do. Because what is the salt? Oh, not solid, it's squishy. Shouldn't have done that, okay. Salt. <laughs> salt. Um, it's good, you should try it. I don't want you to. You should try it. I really don't want to. All right, I'm gonna take this. There's so much hopefully, salt. Hopefully carbonated mayonnaise off. Ah. I'm gonna put this lid on and just try and shake it up a bit. Get it all evenly carbonated. Here you go, your turn. All right, Mayo, are you fizzy? I don't think so. Do you want to carbonate that? I think it's a tiny, Tiny bit carbonated, but so little that I really can't tell. <laughs> oh, it's growing. <laughs> it's growing. It's growing noticeably. Oh no, oh no. It's like what happened on the stove, but so much faster. Yeah. Oh no. So mayo is like a whipped product, like yeah, they whip yeah, the well, egg. Look at the bubbles together. here. You can actually so, yeah. see them like rising. I'll just let that go for a little while and then let all the pressure back in. I'm going to try and uh, pan fry a little bit of our Miracle Whip as a side-by-side -side test to our mayo. <laughs> okay, sort of stopped reacting. So we're gonna let some pressure back in and see what repressurized mayonnaise looks like. It looks like, like science gone wrong. Cottage cheese. All right, that's what happens if you vacuum mayonnaise. Wow. Dear internet, how dare you? It doesn't taste any different after being vacuum chambered. 
it doesn't feel any different. It still does the jiggly thing. If Maybe it's a little denser, but we had it in there for a good several minutes, even after it wasn't really reacting. So I would say texture doesn't feel different. Flavor's no different, of course. It's just, it's mayo. It's just mayo with a little less bubble. But compared to what Nate has happening over here. It seems to be less percentage oil and more percentage other stuff. Well, let's just go ahead and uh, an entire jar of mayo just boiled. All right, so yeah, mayo, when boiled, is just melted. Miracle Whip's got a lot more solids in it, seems like. Even butter will do this. Uh, if you guys have ever heard of something called browning butter, if you're cooking, it's where the oil separates out from the fat solids, and then it actually starts to, well, brown, and if you go too long, it burns, and that's almost what we've done here, and this does almost look like a very thick version of brown butter. Probably should never let it get that dark, but that's what it does. The oil separates out from the fat solids, and that's kind of what I'm thinking is happening with all of this. Okay, well, I tasted all the other ones, so it's your turn. Salty? No. Oh. The texture was just super weird. Like it went from an oily foam to just like a little bit slimy. The flavor is actually just identical to normal Miracle Whip. Huh. Nothing changed, nothing super concentrated. Because the flavor changed in the actual mayo. Yeah, the texture is gross and hard to get over, <laughs> but the taste is like identical to the spread just as it comes out of the jar. So if you like that, cool. If okay. you don't like that, you'd think it was vile. Very few people are just like indifferent to Miracle Whip. People are usually like, oh, I like it. Or they're like, I'd rather die. How dare you? So. There you go. There's your cooked mayonnaise. Ah, look at that though. Look at that. Look at that. New delicacy. There's only one thing to do now. We have to burn down this studio. That's fair. <laughs> uh, these sandwiches, they just, they never come with enough. They don't. I'm sorry. Mayo and mustard. No. I got a really Oh, no, Nate, yeah. no, Nate, no. Just gotta get enough on there, really, is the key. Ah, a little more. There we go. No, Nate, no. You need, okay, never mind, there you go. Yeah, right. it's I gonna have worried. mustard, I too. Worried. I was Gosh, worried. it's okay. just mayo. Sorry. Okay. Nope, mm. it's the, oh. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, got a little. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> mm. This is vanilla pudding. It's not mayonnaise. It doesn't make it better, Nate. <laughs> Even the mustard is vanilla pudding that I just added food coloring to. It's just salt pudding. Oh, that was pudding too? I didn't know that The part. mustard is also pudding, yeah. Okay. So it really was, the sandwich kind of ruined the pudding, but it did not taste like mayo. That's gonna be a gif on the internet. You know it is. I hope so. Somebody gif that. And it's GIF, it's not GIF, it's GIF. Oh, starting a war in the comments. Yes, I right. am. GI can be pronounced in multiple ways in English, Giraffe. and it changes based on the etymology, the origin of the word, not on what comes after it. So I know people will be like, gin, that's G-I, and it has a J sound. And people will be like, but gift is closer because it actually has G-I-F. But then you have words like ginger and ginkgo, which both start with G-I-N-G -G and are pronounced differently. You have to look at the root of the word. Gift, for example, comes from the Old Norse word gipt, which is fine, great, that's how Old Norse people said it. Gif has no etymological history other than being invented and pronounced gif by the creator. So, those aren't good reasons. And then people will also say, oh, well, it's an acronym. It stands for Graphic Interchange Format. But guess what? Acronyms pronunciation are not based on the words that they come from. Callie, would you like to say something? What if the G in gif is silent? I've, I've also heard that it she should be like the, the Hispanic G. It's hif. Hif. And with a long hif I. Hif wars. Let's have with some. a long I, so it's hyph. There's the uncommonly used G sound of zh. So it'd be jif. Yif. Yif. Jif or jif. Yeah. Shotgunner, thank you for your suggestion, I guess. You're uh, dead it to was me. It was gross, but I'm I, kidding, I, I was curious. I wanted to know. And now I know what happens if you boil a jar of mayonnaise. So thank you.
guys, that's it for today, but you know we've always got more for you to see. Click that box up at the top to check out our most recent video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.